lovelies, it's Miss Lady Lace here and today I have for you a new fabulous video. I know I have been a little bit absent here on YouTube, I have been very busy doing some renovations around the home as well as having an awful cold that just hung around way too long, but I'm back ready to share with you some new fabulous content. In today's video I'm going to be taking you with me along to a show and I'm also going to be demonstrating how I go from my day makeup which looks like this to my evening slash show makeup which is much more bolder and is this fabulous look here. We'll start with the getting ready process and I'll demonstrate transitioning that day makeup into my stage makeup. To freshen up for tonight I'm going to have a quick shower and I'm just going to take off my makeup from underneath my eyes and down. I find reapplying in this area just gives you that fresher sense and gets rid of any of that cakiness and then I'll reapply some of the other makeup as well to make it more suitable for the stage. With my face all fresh, I'm ready to start reapplying my makeup. I've removed just underneath my eyes as I mentioned before and also where I have my shower cap before, it's also worn a little bit of the makeup off. So I'm going to take my Designer Brands All-in-One Stick Foundation and that's in the Porcelain Ivory colour. I'm going to apply that beneath here and just around here to cover up any makeup removed. Lately I've been using this fabulous brush here to blend my foundation in. It was a free gift with a designer brand's purchase so I really love it. I've been using it for a little while now and I think it gives really fabulous results. I'm then going to go in with some Master Illusion in Ivory, which is just a concealer and just apply that beneath my eyes and maybe just a touch on my nose. To set the foundation, I'm going to be using this Designer Brands Powder, which is the Barely Nude Mineral Powder. Super fabulous and I'll just set that and keep that in place while I'm going to be dancing all night. And I'm just applying this with a large powder brush. Next I'm going to darken up my eyes a little bit and make them more stage appropriate. So I'm just going to go over my eyebrows and just darken them just a little touch before I start on my eyeshadow. To really make my eyebrows pop, I'm going to take a white pencil and just highlight very directly underneath. I'm then going to blend that a little bit with a round headed brush and then fill in this with just a light cream colour in my day to night palette from Designer Brands. My costume tonight is a pink and gold colour, so I'm going to be utilising the pink shade here, the maroon shade, brown and a little bit of gold. To start, I'm going to grab a fluffy round head brush and my pink colour and just do a light colour wash across my crease. And I always repeat the same step on the opposite side so I make sure I create as a symmetrical look as I can. Next, using a slightly more compact round headed brush, I'm going to go in with the maroon colour just down here and I'm just going to concentrate on getting the bulk of this really in the crease area and then blending this up a little bit as this colour is quite a bit darker. it just a little bit more I'm going to go in with the brown color and really focus on the outer corner and just blend in a little bit and not so much up so really concentrating on that crease and just focusing it in a little bit more with my flat head brush I'm now going to take a bit of my gold color and just apply this into the corner of my eye and just blend this up and out just a little bit
It's now time to darken up that eyeliner just a little bit, just to go over the top where any eyeshadow has fallen down, and also just to make this line just a little bit thicker. I'm going to be using the Designer Brands Liquid Liner, and I just have this old felt tip pen that doesn't actually have any product left, but I just use it to dip into this and apply, just because I like the precision of the pen, but I find these run out super quick. It's not Designer Brands, I haven't tried their felt tip pen, but I find it easy enough just to dip and apply just for that perfect crisp line. My camera just overheated, but I just finished popping my eyeliner on my opposite side. I'm now going to stick on some false eyelashes, and for stage, I get the biggest set I possibly can for the most dramatic look. I'm going to apply my glue onto the end of these and wait for that to set before I stick it into place. Bolden up underneath my eyes, I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil and from about the midpoint I'm going to draw out and just do a little flick going out and I'm going to go over the top of that with my angle brush with a bit of powder as well just to set that and make it look a lot more bold for the stage. off my eye makeup I'm gonna go in with the center stage designer brands mascara which is really fabulous and bold I wear this during the day just without lashes this will really bolden this look up I also apply just a little bit on my outer lashes too With my eyes complete, I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. I don't do anything too extreme, I just use a light brown powder and an angle brush. I'm going to apply this on the crease of my cheeks, underneath my chin and just a little bit beneath my nose. Time to add a bit of blush. I have the Pink Glow from Designer Brands and a Designer Brands blush brush which also has this fabulous little side where I'm going to highlight underneath with just a lighter colour. With the blush I'm going to go a little bit heavier than my day makeup because with stage lighting you really need to counterbalance that and make it nice and bold. in my beauty mark which I just use my eyeliner for it's simply just highlight the very end lipstick is usually the last thing I put on so next I'll work on my hair I'm just gonna style it out big and fluffy I'm not gonna talk through this as much but if you would like to see a tutorial on this do let me know in the comments below My hair and makeup almost complete just my lipstick to do I'll pop that on get into my outfit that I'll go to the show in and I will show our final reveal for the night and this is our fabulous look complete when I get to the show I've got a whole costume and a headpiece to go on which is why I haven't styled too much around this area as I've got to have something sitting here I will take you along to this show and give you a little behind the scenes as well as what I got up to tonight <laughs>
video a little bit of fun and if there's anything you'd like to see do let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to further support my YouTube channel I'm now on Patreon and have different tiers with fabulous rewards for all my Patreons there. To follow my daily pinup adventures I post super regularly to Instagram, I'll pop a little link here as well as at the end of the video. And to never miss out on my vintage fun be sure to hit subscribe and I'll be seeing you all real soon. <laughs> Just give that rhythm everything you got.